Hey everybody, it's your boy BK Mark coming at you with a coin making video because that's what we like to do. We like to make coins. If you like to make coins, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because we're making coins today and you're going to want to watch all the way to the end to make all these coins. So without further ado, let's go make some coins. What we're going to be looking at is the NFL schedule, right? Because we know how I feel about power-ups. We know how easy it is to make coins off of power-ups, right? But I, I'm not just going to tell you guys, hey, go make coins on power-ups. I'm going to tell you where I'm going. Like, we got, it's, we got football this morning. It's early. Robert Wood's the target monster, so I'm going to pick that up. I should have probably filtered it down, but I'll probably be picking up more Robert Wood's throughout today at that price right that's cheap cheap is what you're looking for the bears play the falcon so Allen robinson may be an option but we'll get into that let's go to power-ups and the first one i'm going to start with is somebody that's had every piece of opportunity to go off but has yet done it and this week it pains me to say it but the Bengals could destroy the Eagles unless they get their act together. The, the Eagles have been playing terrible. And unless they pull it together, it's going to be bad. But I'm talking about A.J. Green. A.J. Green, in two games, has had 22 targets and 8 receptions for 80 yards. That's not good. It's not good. The, when you look at A.J. Green's stat line, you see 8 receptions for 80 yards. Which... I agree, is not very good. But the 22 targets, he is in fifth, tied in fifth for targets. If that comes together against this Eagles team, A.J. Green is going to go off. And we're talking about, I don't know, 22 targets, 11 targets a game. If he pulls in six or seven of those, 100 yards and a score. And it does. It hurts me to say that about the Eagles. But they, they just they haven't been playing well at all. Allen Robertson has 18 targets in two games. So that's nine targets a game. And the Bears play Atlanta. And Atlanta gives up yards. So we're going to buy this Allen Robinson at 800. And we're going to buy the other one at 950. Just slowly stocking up on these power-ups, right? Juju's been having some good games. Are they going to keep holding him back from getting a card? Maybe. Possibility. Brandon Cooks, but we already got a Brandon Cooks card, right? So... We missed the boat on that one. Is it Cooper Cup's time? I don't feel like we're going to be buying any Cooper Cup. Not at those prices. Let's look at rushing attempts. Who do the Broncos play? The Broncos play the Bucks. Could Melvin Gordon have a game against the Bucks? Oh my. I wonder who's going to have the game against Washington and Cleveland. Austin Hooper? Nick Chubb, but Nick Chubb's got a card coming already. Baker doesn't have a card. Denzel Ward, we're not going to put money on him or Miles Garrett. There's not a lot of power-ups with the Browns to bank on. I mean, Jarvis Landry's 900. But if I go to receiving, Landry gets five targets a game. You know what? I'm going to buy two... Two Landry cards. Because that seems like something that could happen. Definitely against Washington, right? Like, Washington could, could let them just run up the score. Packers-Saints could be a really good game. But Packers have already been dished out a ton, so it'd be the Saints you'd be looking for. What about the Chargers and the Panthers? K1 Short just got a card. DJ Moore. Yes, let's look into that a little bit. 22 targets, 12 receptions for 174 yards. Let's look at defense here. We want yards allowed. Atlanta allows tons of yards against. So, that's... And it's in passing yards, right? So that is a Allen Robinson opportunity. Detroit, again, tons of yards. That's a DeAndre Hopkins opportunity. But he's 
really expensive if you wanted to go that way. The Panthers and the Chargers, they they offer about the same yardages, and they offer it the same way. They'll give you 225 yards per game in the air and about 100 yards per game on the ground. So personally here, I'm attacking Seattle. Let's go Seattle. Who does Seattle play? The Cowboys. What about Amari Cooper? 3,000 is not that bad if Cooper goes off. And Seattle, in two games, Seattle's allowed 400 yards on average through the air. This is a little more expensive than I'd like to pay. I'm really feeling this card right now. Atlanta. I was saying Atlanta gives up tons of yards through the air. So you'd go to the Bears. And for me, it's Allen Robinson, right? And then Minnesota also gives up a ton in the air. Coming in at uh, almost 300 yards per game. And Minnesota plays Tennessee. So let's look at Tennessee. They don't have a guy that we can attack on their passing game in the air. So what about tight ends? No. They don't have anything there. Quarterback? Yeah, I didn't think Tannehill was a quarterback card. So I guess your only option would be Derrick Henry. And what do the Vikings give up on the ground? They give up 154 yards on the ground. I'm going to buy the one Derrick Henry card for 4000 Just because if he can break off two touchdowns or 100 plus yards... That card will be 12k. So I'm gonna buy that card, and this is all I do, guys. Like, I, I like to watch football, so I like to break down. I like to break down who could have great games, and where, right? So I'll go to the stat lines and I'll just look. Like, hey, Vegas, they've allowed 812 total yards in both their games. So Vegas will allow 400 yards a game, and 285 of that will be in the air. 120 will have that will be on the ground. So if we look at who Vegas is playing, Vegas is playing the Patriots. Could this be a game for Sony Michelle? Maybe. Could this be a game for Julian Edelman? Possibly. Right? That's a way to look. Chris Carson will be the last one I'm looking at here. So I'm gonna go to rushing yards. And I wanna see Chris Carson's attempts. So he gets about 12 a game. I'm going to give Chris Carson some investment because Dallas gives up a ton, right? DK Metcalf would be nice if they would just give that man a card. Tyler Lockett could be a possibility here from Seattle. And Chris Carson actually, or, and Chris Carson also catches the ball in the backfield. So, there you go, guys. And as you're watching football, or as you're looking at the box scores, and you see these cards going up, like, say Chris Carson starts out huge. Go look at his card. Watch that card bounce up. And if that card bounces up, like I bought him at 1000 if that card bounces up to 6000 I'm selling them. Making the coins, right? That's the goal here. Always be making coins. And make realistic predictions on the, the players you're going to buy. Like, I'm not going to go out and buy some slug because he's 500 coins. But he's the second running back on the team. And they're playing against a run defense team. Like you gotta, you gotta use your football knowledge to make those coins. But you can, it's easy to do, easy to get after. This is BK Mutt. You guys have yourself a wonderful day, and I'll hit stick you later.